this image here may seem beautiful, right? But astronomers say it is absolutely terrifying. That brightly lit object is called a planet killer. One scientist says an asteroid that big hitting Earth would, quote, be a mass extinction event not seen on Earth in millions of years. There is a great unknown between Earth and the rest of the cosmos, filled with incredible mysteries, enormous cosmic objects, and potentially devastating calamities. Modern astronomy owes a great deal to the work of astrologers, who were among the first to make reliable predictions about planetary orbits. And thanks to these same old principles that are still employed today, we can see devastating astronomical events, such as supernova explosions, years before the effects hit us on Earth. Over the next two centuries, sky watchers will be treated to a slew of these unusual sights that range from curious to terrifying. So join us in this video as we explore the terrifying astronomical events happening in the future. The 2027 solar eclipse August 2nd, 2027 should be freed up in your schedule if you were born with wanderlust and a desire to tour the world. It will be another four years before that happens, but as word gets out, hundreds of people will be scrambling to travel to the Valley of the Kings outside Luxor, Egypt on that day to stare up at the sky at 12.02 p.m. At that same moment, the moon will completely block out the sun, casting a moon shadow over Earth for a total of 6 minutes and 20 seconds. It's the only time of year that we can see the sun's outer, hotter, ice-white corona, and it's framed by spectacular diamond rings of sunlight streaming in through the moon's craters. On August 2nd, 2027, those who are in the path of totality will see the longest total solar eclipse of this century. A lengthier eclipse occurred in 2009, but it was over the ocean and was largely obscured by clouds. The total solar eclipse of 2027 will be the longest totality on land since 1991 and until 2114. On August 2nd, 2027, the path of totality will extend from the Atlantic Ocean via Spain, Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, Sudan, Saudi Arabia, Yemen and Somalia. The peak of the Geminids meteor shower will occur just before the eclipse and a week later will be the closest great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter in eons, so eclipse chasers will get double the bang for their buck. Since the gas giants are only 0.06 degrees apart in the night sky, they will appear to glow together. On April 8, 2024, areas of Mexico, the US and Canada may witness up to 4 minutes and 28 seconds of totality during the next complete solar eclipse in North America. The moon's shadow will cause a 4-minute totality, or close to it, in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and into Canada at Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland. Clear skies are most likely in Mexico and Texas. The next two total solar eclipses in North America are both small occurrences and will occur in Alaska on March 30, 2033, and in northern Canada, Montana and North Dakota on August 23, 2044. But in 2045, the big one will strike. There will be another super long total solar eclipse of the same length as the one in 2027 in 2045 because eclipses occur in Saros cycles that recur every 18 years, 11 days and 8 hours. For North Americans, it will also be the largest total solar eclipse of the century. The amazing Solar Saros 136 will cast a moon shadow that lasts more than six minutes on August 12, 2045, as it passes over the United States, the Eastern Caribbean, and the northeastern coast of South America via Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Venezuela, Guyana, French Guiana, Suriname, and Brazil. Totality will be visible in cities including Reno, Salt Lake City, Colorado Springs, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Tampa, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami in the U.S. Totality will be the longest at Port St. Lucie, Florida, at 6 minutes and 4 seconds. Get on a boat in the North Pacific Ocean on August 24, 2063 if you're still alive, 18 years, 11 days and 8 hours after that. Supernova Event Similar to other forms of life, stars have a finite lifespan and eventually expire. In the case of stars though, their lives typically culminate in an explosion known as a supernova. A supernova is a tremendous explosion caused by the collapse of a big star or the sudden onset of uncontrolled nuclear fusion in a smaller star. Some scientists believe that supernovae are crucial 
and that they provide at least some of the elements heavier than iron. This substance is then launched into space, where part of it eventually falls to Earth as rain. Supernovae are the most massive explosions ever recorded in the cosmos. They are the major source of heavy metals in the cosmos. Therefore, while destructive, they are also creative. A supernova occurs about once every 50 years in a galaxy the size of the Milky Way. The last supernova was observed three decades ago beyond our galaxy, and it was one of the brightest exploding stars in 400 years, shining with the power of 100 million suns. Astronomers at Ohio State University predict that during the next 50 years, our galaxy will see a supernova. There is a 1 in 5 chance that it will be visible without the aid of a telescope. Elements like iron, potassium, neon, etc. are expelled into space during a supernova explosion and eventually condense to form new stars, restarting the cycle. It is possible that the Earth, along with other planets, may be formed from some of the components expelled. A supernova may only last a few seconds, but it plays a crucial role in the evolution of stars and planets. And apart from that, their value in releasing crucial materials into space cannot be overstated. Leonid Meteor Shower of 2031 The terrifying rocks from the sky sites that are thought to accompany meteor showers have long been disproved by astronomers. The vast majority of meteors are so tiny that they entirely evaporate upon entering Earth's atmosphere due to the intense heat generated by the collisions with the gas molecules. The threat posed by meteors, however, has taken on new meaning with the advent of the space age. Satellite operators and ISS astronauts now have to account for the many meteor showers that pass over Earth each year, some more violent than others. The Leonids are the most deadly. They peak on the 17th and 18th of November, but they are active for nearly the entire month. The comet that created this shower, 55P slash Temple Tuttle, was only identified at the end of 1865. However, historical records do contain details of the comet's prior appearances. The 1366 flyby at a distance of 0.0229 AU, 3.4 million kilometers, was particularly noteworthy. In all of recorded history, only two tailed stars got any closer to Earth. Interestingly, the Chinese historians who recorded this event for posterity made no mention of a rise in meteor activity at the time. However, other reports claim that people have been witnessing intense Leonid showers around the middle of November from at least the year 900 AD. The Leonids loudly called attention to themselves in the 19th century. More than 100,000 falling stars were visible within an hour in 1833, a phenomenon that was long recalled by contemporary observers. It sparked imaginations, spurred the growth of meteor astronomy, and ultimately changed the world. The launch of the International Space Station's base module into orbit was delayed in 1998 due to this shower. Comet Temple Tuttle is unusual in that its orbit is about 173 degrees off the ecliptic, meaning that it rotates in the opposite direction of the major planets. Its expelled dust particles hit Earth on opposite courses, and enter the atmosphere at a speed of 72 kilometers per second. This indicates that they possess a great deal of momentum. A single small dust particle traveling at light speed can ignite into a brilliant meteor or tear through the exterior of a spaceship. Another factor that can add up to this speed is the nearly eight kilometers per s that satellites in low Earth orbit travel at. All of this caused people to worry about the biggest space station in the human empire. The geographical concentration of meteor particles, however, did not reach threshold values, indicating that the hazard assessment was overstated. However, on the night before November 17th of each year, the ISS crew receives further warnings outlining potential courses of action in the event of an emergency. Now, during the peak of this shower, scientists typically record around 20 rapid meteors every hour, though this depends on whether or not the fickle November weather cooperates. Contact with the asteroid Apophis in 2029. Asteroids are everywhere in our solar system. Space debris from boulder-sized to mountain-sized drifting through the galaxy. And as NASA's meticulous cataloging has shown, several of them are frighteningly close to our planet. One will pass extremely close to Earth in 2029. In 2004, the one 100-foot-wide asteroid 99942 Apophis was discovered and immediately labelled as one of the most dangerous objects in solar orbit. 
The thought of an asteroid crashing into Earth is alarming, but after studying its orbit in detail, NASA has determined that our planet is safe for at least a century. However, it will get dangerously close to us without really hitting us. Apophis will approach the Earth's surface by just 19,662 miles on April 13, 2029. Although it might not seem close, in astronomical terms, it is a frighteningly close call. That is 10 times closer than the Moon, according to the ESA, and even closer than geostationary satellites like those used for GPS. Amazingly, as NASA also points out, you won't even need a telescope to see it in the sky. Apophis will swing past Earth, and since our planet's gravity will cause it to change its orbit, it will return in 2068 for another close pass. However, scientists are certain that an impact on its second visit is similarly extremely unlikely. The darkest lunar eclipsing in 2029. Lunar eclipses have been witnessed by humans since the beginning of recorded history whenever the moon moves into Earth's shadow. The moon gets its blood moon moniker because sunlight filtered through Earth's atmosphere turns its surface a deep red color. The Earth's shadow is split in two, the outermost shadow or penumbra and the innermost shadow or umbra. While deeper penumbral eclipses are much fainter and occasionally impossible to observe, complete eclipses are the most dramatic as the moon passes through Earth's umbra. The eclipse gets darker the closer it comes to the umbra's center, and in 2029, Earth will witness one of the darkest eclipses imaginable. In a complete eclipse on June 26, 2029, the Moon will pass through the darkest region of Earth's shadow. The eclipse will endure for 1 hour and 42 minutes while it is completely within Earth's umbra. According to NASA's almanacs, the eclipse will be the darkest between 1951 and 2050, lasting an amazing 3 hours and 40 minutes from the time Earth's shadow first touches the Moon until it departs. The ideal location to take in the show will be in South America, where the entire sky show will be visible. Mega Comet on the way. Do you feel prepared to face a mega comet? In 2031, the largest comet ever recorded will enter our solar system, and it's terrible. Comet C-2014, UN-271, Bernardinelli Bernstein, is a massive comet with a diameter of 85 miles, 137 kilometers, an ice nucleus 50 times larger than the previous record holder, and a mass 100,000 times greater than the ordinary comet. Fortunately, it is anticipated that when it reaches its closest approach to Earth in 2031, this enormous snowball won't come any closer than 1.6 billion kilometers, a billion miles. But maybe there are other gigantic comets waiting to be discovered. That's a horrifying possibility for sure. New horizons leaving the solar system, even if this isn't something that the naked eye can witness, it's still a significant achievement. When NASA's New Horizons probe flew by Pluto in 2015, it returned the first photographs ever taken of the distant frozen world at the edge of our solar system. According to the University of Maine, not only is it the fastest spaceship ever launched, but it also has a one-way ticket to interstellar space after visiting Pluto. Although the outer boundary of the solar system is not precisely defined, astronomers are able to make educated guesses based on data collected by the Voyager space probes as they left and entered interstellar space. The distance at which New Horizons will arrive in 2040 is approximately 125 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. However, it's not guaranteed that it will still be functional after more than three decades spent in space travel. Once New Horizons leaves the solar system and the protective orbit of the Sun, it will be subjected to the extreme conditions of interstellar space. When this occurs, it will join only four other man-made objects, Pioneers 10 and 11, as well as Voyagers 1 and 2. The Planets Alignment 2040. According to NASA, on September 8, 2040, every planet that can be seen with the naked eye will line up in a neat line. The cluster of planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, along with the crescent moon, will be visible in the evening sky from nearly any place on Earth. When the planets appear to form a straight line in the Earth's skies, this is known as a planetary alignment. Conjunctions are a phrase that both astronomers and astrologers will be familiar with when referring to such events. Even though this does not imply that the planets are physically lined up in their orbits, it can nevertheless produce an impressive sky display. The planets, especially Jupiter and Venus, shine so brightly 
that even in the light polluted skies of large towns one may see them. That being said, a deeper rural sky will provide by far the best view and visiting a dark location to watch a planetary alignment is worthwhile. Andromeda Collision even though Andromeda, the greatest galaxy in our local group, is 2.5 million light-years away from Earth, it is travelling in a scary direction and will eventually crash with the Milky Way galaxy. But it will rule the night sky just before it does. Fortunately, Andromeda won't get here for another 3 to 5 billion years. What do you think of these future astronomical events? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.